Before dawn on Sunday, the city of Barranquilla, Colombia, was targeted for a second time in less than 24 hours with a bomb attack on a police station. Six people were injured. In a separate bombing in Bolivar province, two policemen were killed. And five officers paid with their lives in the first attack in Barranquilla Saturday morning, while 40 people were wounded. Este cobarde y alevoso atentado no va a quedar impune. This cowardice and treacherous attack will not go unpunished. More so, with effective and overwhelming police work, with the help of the prosecutor's office, the perpetrator of this attack has been captured. One 31-year-old suspect has been arrested in connection with the first attack. There's also a reward of $18,000 for anyone with information about the attackers. There had been suspicions that narco-traffickers carried out the bombings in retaliation for a crackdown on organized crime. But Barranquilla's police chief said he suspected ELN guerrillas. And later, Sunday, the group issued a statement, indeed claiming responsibility for the first attack. President Juan Manuel Santos says additional security measures are being taken. Actos como estos, tan, eh, cobardes. No one will bow down to this terrorism. The opposite, actually. Cowardly acts like these will give us more strength to fight these delinquents. Este tipo de delincuentes. The people of Barranquilla are shaken. Just two weeks before the city will hold its famous carnival that's expected to draw up to 200,000 visitors. That was a very strong explosion, and I got up and ran to see what happened. And when I came to the police station, it was so ugly. There were people with no legs or arms. In a statement on its website, the National Urban War Front, the ELN guerrilla group is claiming responsibility for the first attack in Barranquilla, saying that this is in response to the unfair treatment of its people. The ELN leaders, meanwhile, are holding peace negotiations in Ecuador with the Colombian government to end 50 years of war. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Colombia.